Hey everybody, this is Nathan at Kitten Equipment Company again. Your Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati area, five paw premier dealer. Um, it's cold outside, so we're in the basement again, the warehouse, and I've got a cab unit. It's uh, something that we just got probably six or so back in stock um, in different horsepower variants and I wanted to do a video on it. We've had them out for about two years now, um, and it's a really nice kind of middle of the road, 40 to 60 horsepower, uh, what they'll call it a compact utility model, a, a DK, um, and this is a DKSE with a factory installed cab. So I wanted to kind of go over the model and what makes it what it is, and I don't know, rough dollar amounts, things like that, some standard equipment, and maybe some optional equipment. Um, they make these in four different horsepower variants. So this is a DK4710 SE. Uh, it's 45 horsepower. So you have a 4210 SE, a 4710, a 5310, a 6010. And the only thing that changes is the engine horsepower. And then I believe once you go up to the 6010 variant, you're gonna see a, uh, a category two three-point hitch, where this is a standard category one. Uh, and I, I don't even think the tire changes. I think it that is really what it uh, the only difference You might see a tire change in the 6010. I'll have to look um, But otherwise just like the normal model layout anything that says DK Anything that says DK you can see my finger is gonna have the same loader the same lift capacity the same size and weight um, well, You know with exception of the cab the cabs obviously a little bit heavier so it's the KL5521 loader. Uh, it's the same as the KL5520 with the exception of on a regular DK, the, the loader uh, valve body mounting is, is up here. So they've got on a standard shift, you've got a, you've got a shifter right here. So they can't put the loader there. So they put, put it up here on those. On the cab, obviously you can't have one up here or you'd have to cut a hole in the glass. So they've got that thing mounted tractor side, which is considered really a more deluxe thing anyway. So. Um, a lot more comfortable, a lot less in the way. Really nice actually for getting on and off both sides. You've got access. The only thing that would really get in your way is the pedals, um, but we'll go over that in a minute. So the KL5521 has the same lift capacity. It is 2,474 pounds to full height at pivot pin. Um, comes standard with a six foot bucket, 72 incher. So really, really hefty. For, for a tractor this size and this horsepower, one of the highest if not the highest in class um and it's very real uh i can tell you that this is the first tractor that if you are going to be moving a ton of stuff it will do it although i i do encourage you to to add rear weight we have the tires filled but if you're really going to start getting over a ton and get it high off the ground i would recommend putting extra ballast on the back um this is going to weigh about just under six thousand pounds um with everything said and done with the loader, with the tires filled, it's, I think it's like 5,800 or something like that, um, the way you see it. So there's our six foot bucket. We still have ice in the bucket. I wasn't lying when I said it's cold outside. You've got standard skid steer quick attach, just like everything else. You've got the bucket level indicator, standard equipment. The grill guard is standard equipment. Um, as we go on, you've got the same quick attach loader mounting so a quick pull pin you've got these feet that come down and the whole loader comes off it sits on this feet and then four quick couplers over here in terms of the cab you've got front and rear work light standard you got a front wiper uh, front signalers here cab mirrors those those are all standard equipment uh, kind of a big deal on a tractor this size both doors open obviously they're big one-piece suicide doors and they open and you can get on and off both sides. That's not the case for everything in this class. Sometimes you're gonna see uh, only doors on the driver's side. Um, sometimes you're gonna see a whole bunch of crap in the way. You can't get on and off, but this guy opens up on both sides. Um, on the inside of here, you're gonna see full heat and AC, all the HVAC plumbed in, cab air recirculation. Uh, it's already wired for sound and and these smaller cabs on the in it, I'm sorry, on the DK and CK as opposed to uh, the larger NX and RX, they're a little bit more modernized because they're newer. So um, something that's really cool, you can add a radio 
just like on the other ones you can wire that in and add a bluetooth stereo there's all kinds of options we have some aftermarket options there's factory options um, but they have these things plumbed for sound i don't know if you can see that but uh, let me go around actually or actually i don't need to go around i can get in on both sides climb it over here so this guy you've got stereo and auxiliary if you put it on stereo it will take uh it goes to where the radio is plugged in so it'll it'll pull signal from from that that wiring harness that's back there comes directly in and it'll play that through the speakers but if you put it on auxiliary you see that there that's a standard 16th inch uh, adapter you, you can plug anything right into that auxiliary port and it will play directly through the speakers so you don't have to have a radio you can put your phone right in here uh, there is usb as well but it doesn't pull from usb we don't have apple carplay yet um, this is just power so this can charge your phone this can uh, can take signal from the phone and play it through the speakers you've also got 120 volt or i'm sorry 120 watt 12 volt uh, power right here nice big tray cup holder phone holder uh, it's pretty nice 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 setup um, while we're in here there's the hvac controls cab light on the top nice big open front visibility if you look around you've got you can see all the way to the end of the loader there's really nothing that makes this different other um, than an open station it's, it's the same visibility except for maybe the windshield wiper i mean that's the only thing that might get in your way on the side you've got like i said nice big suicide doors so you've got side visibility the same way the only thing that's blocked off is the fender just like normal and then the rear most importantly you've got rear visibility and this guy pops open and he's spring loaded he can stay open um, you've got on the on the left side no window but on the right side you've got a sight window so you can see down to your rear implement uh, as far as controls this is the same as a DKSE open station um, although the, some of the controls have been moved up in different places because it is a cab but um, a DKSE is a little bit different than its smaller brother the CKSE a DKSE what makes it an SE is is different so an SE on a DK is a hydrostat primarily you can't get a DKSE in a standard shift it's a hydrostat uh, it also has a um, rear remote standard right so rear hydraulic remote a, a standard DK does not have that all the DKSEs have that it is a detent remote so it locks and then you've got a deck mat and that's that's really what makes it different if you look at a ckse versus a normal ck you're going to see all kinds of things it's got basically every option and feature that you can add to a regular ck plus some stuff that you can't it's, it's got a whole bunch um, a dkse is not quite that different just deck mat rear remote and it is a hydrostat but if you're going to get a cab as well you can only get a cab dk in an se format so Hopefully that kind of clears up the differences. Um, as far as standard equipment in here, let's see. We've got loader joystick right there on your right hand. It's a nice big ergonomic joystick. Uh, you've got push button independent PTO. There's your front wiper control as well as a spray. So you got windshield washer fluid. Um, there's your cab lights. There is your rear defrost. Um, here we've got throttle, hand control, hand control drive by wire throttle. Um, there's your road flashers. This is the parking brake, and it's in a really nice spot, so you push on it to disengage. So it's disengaged, and then you push down, and it's right there to lock it, right? Um, standard horn, turn signals and headlights and dash lights. Uh, tilt steering is right here. And then down here, you've got your regen button, if you ever actually have to use it. Most of the time, it's all automatic. Um, that helps control that. Oh, I'm sorry, no. This is the uh, cruise PTO control. So, PTO cruise control. You push it, it dings where your PTO is at, and it knows that's how fast your PTO wants to go while you're driving forward. And then you can set it here, um, or you can actually raise and lower the engine RPM by 50 here. It's, it's an interesting little thing. Some people use it a lot, some people never use it, but it's there. And then you've got your three-point control and your rear remote. And there's, there's room for a second rear remote as well. You can add a different one. Uh, there's some extra switch positions. If you were going to add some extra things, you'll see some switch positions here as well. And some in the dash. 
So there's other things. There's extra lights and beacons and all kinds of different things you could add. Um, rear wipers. Um, shoot, there, there's all kinds of things you can add to a DKSE. Um, if, if let's let's call this the the semi budget model, although it is not cheap by any means, it is the the more budget you can get something like an nx or next year we're actually going to see an ns cab that are a little more featured out of the box um but if you want a heavy capable compact or compact utility on a larger tire four-wheel drive um you know what capable of lifting well over 2,000 pounds um for around Let's let's say around thirty thousand. Sometimes they're going to go a little bit more. Sometimes they're going to go a little bit less. But you'd be you'd be hard pressed to package this exact model with a bunch of accessories. You know, with the loader, with the tires filled, everything the way it should be for over thirty four grand. I think that'd be difficult to do. Um, on the outside here, we've got nice heavy cast front axle, just like normal. You've got shielding for your power steering. You've got the nice big fuel tank on the side with the normal armor. These are shielded, can you see it? And then you've got that loader bar that runs back, that's normal on these, that gives you, it really is to strength the loader, strengthen the loader bracket, um, but it also becomes a nice skid plate along the bottom. If you, if you run up on something big, that usually catches before it hits anything breakable. You've got the step over here, and I actually, I've done research. You can get a step for the other side. Um, it's, it's drilled the same way. So maybe for European countries or other countries where, where that's considered driver's side, um, maybe they do it standard over there, but the, hill, the holes are already drilled, so you can get this exact step and just bolt it right on over there um, if you needed a second one. Some people do. Nice big rear tire. You've got multiple tire options. Uh, these are the R4s. You've got an R14, an R1 AG, a Turf if you really want. Um, all of those things we sell at the same price. Um, on the DK, this is the first tractor where the uh, every single one of the wheels are adjustable. So that center dish can come out. You can adjust it to different widths and get these tires spaced out. Uh, the maximum spacing is just over 6 feet. I want to say it's 75 inches or so, uh, tread to tread. These are set at a three, which is the second widest spacing, and that ends up being about 70 inches. The rear end is all cast, nice and heavy, just like normal. You've got your standard Category 1 three-point hitch. You've got that standard rear remote back here. Flip up PTO, and they've got the bolts nice and tight. You've got the drawbar standard equipment. And then the coolest thing, you can raise and lower the three-point from the back. All your cab models do that. So especially on a cab that is super useful, you don't have to run back up there, adjust your three point, come back around here, see how close you are. You don't need a second person. You don't have your 10 year old out, out here, you know, yelling at him, trying to get him to show you where to hook this thing up at. You just come back and adjust it from here. And then your toolbox and your uh, windshield washer fluid reservoir. Uh, as far as serviceability, Basically everything is up front and we're going to go over that, but there is one filter they've got back here. Um, well, you know what? Let me do this first. Your hydraulic fluid you check on this dipstick. Real easy, simple to see. Um, the one filter I'm talking about. Get this mirror moved, close this door. You've got a hydraulic filter right there. And then you've got a hydrostat filter on the opposite side of the tractor in the same spot. So real easy to access, nice and up, out of the way. Um, super easy to change every, you do one at 50 hours and then every 400 hours after that. So it's a long-term service. Then everything else is right here on the front. You've got this grill guard that pops open. This folds forward. And then you pull this pin and it comes right up out of the way. Air filter, radiator screen, battery is right there in the front out of the way. Oil filter, fuel filter, oil dipstick. All that stuff can be done right here um, without taking the loader off, without getting stuff out of the way. It is pretty nice, very modern. It's a three cylinder. Um, this one's a turbo. The 45 horse and up are all turbo, three cylinders. So super quiet, nice and fuel efficient. Um, 
yeah so we're not dealing with an older more remedial that's a good word for it um um you know cheaper tractor this is a modern high quality asian made um a nice layout everything's at hand's reach good technology uh, heavy but still mechanical in a way so you've got mechanical hydrostat linkage on dk's um you've got you know some things some things aren't computer controlled where on on let's say higher tier tractors they are computer controlled but some people think that's a good thing it, and i you know there is less to go wrong with that stuff so all of this in multiple horsepower variants uh and the way you see this one except we haven't filled the tires yet so with filled tires uh this one's going to be shoot i think it's around 30 or uh maybe 32 there's different ways to buy it so you've always got a rebate versus a zero percent and depending on the year the rebates are better and i think this is one of those years so it could be a little bit more it could be a little bit less but around thirty thousand for a nice heavy tractor and we have i don't know five or six of these left in stock for this year i've got tons of accessories for them we've got third function kits we've got tons of grapples going around we still do tractor packages with implements and everything else, so give us a call, 859-356-9091. We are Northern Kentucky's Five Paw Premier Coyote Dealer. Thanks. <laughs>